And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. Jumping right into the charts today because I want to make this one quick and easy here. So still stuck in a four hour range, the bottom side of the range coming in at 29,830, top side of the range at 31,100. And uh, break of the four hour range likely gets us the next move. Interestingly enough, uh, BBWP is above 25 percentile, <laughs> percentile, percentile, and momentum is still across the downside. We'll cross up here um, or, or cross down here below 30,000 bucks on the next four hour closure. So what is giving me the bias of a bounce as we've spoke over the past couple of days is, um, you know, basically we're grabbing all the liquidity in the market. The liquidity hangs out where the stop losses are. That's going to be right above this wick and right below this wick. So what do I think is likely to happen from here? A little bit of a bounce. <clears throat> Grab some more wicks up here and then one more try here and a bit more range and sideways. If I had to guess more of the same, more of the same, but the daily is starting to look a little bit more droopy. And again, as soon as we lose this last pivot here, uh, downside is going to be much more likely downside targets, um, you know, for a bounce, Probably a 28.5 gives it a bounce and, uh, you know, continuation down to about 27.6. If we get a little continuation off of that play. Um, so what else has given us a bias here as we're coming in on Tuesday? And yeah, typically taken below the prior week low gets you a move down to the nine for a test. Would you call that a test yet? Uh, not, not really close enough for me uh four day time frame still consolidating in the range now giving us the opportunity to bounce off the nine off of the first pass which typically after a bit of a impulsive move right the test of the nine is going to give you a bounce on the first pass uh two day volatility let's see where are we at on the two day two day volatility is compressed and when this one lifts off yeah probably going to get the direction of the trend uh, to me, this is bearish uh, point for the bears as two day stochastic giving you the same read when you're getting kicked out of that critical zone heading down uh, with some momentum. Well, that does give a bit of a bias for downside pressure. And once we get expansion here. So, however, what's the caveat to that? Um, if we just continue to trade sideways here and this gets a chance to come down and reset and then cross back up. Crossing up above 31.3 at the moment, which is not, you know, it, it, it's, it's got some distance from where we're at today, but uh, I think we probably have one more throwback to the upside before uh, any downside. And here's why. I mean, look at NASDAQ lifting off uh, like a champion here, uh, heading for those uh, prior highs here, coming in pretty close, taking out that 786. So it looks like we're going to make some. Um, you know, we're, we're going to at least approach the highs on the NASDAQ at this point as we have cracked above the 786 and yeah. going for the full retrace, all those risk assets playing out to the upside. And the dollar here, the measure move on the dollar, we pointed this one out uh, as a bit further to the downside, giving risk assets, you know, kind of the benefit. And you can see gold popping up today. Uh, gold. Gold at 1979, heading up to our target there. Look at that. Look at that. Interestingly enough, probably got a little bit more. And, you know, this TP1, TP2 at the top side, if you were long from this green box, hey, it could shoot right through there. But, uh, you know, take those profits early and often. Uh, checking in on silver, hitting our upside green box, passing through it here. You know, big interaction between gold and silver and the US dollar. And what other pivot did I see this morning that uh, I heard was a pretty critical level? And let's see what it is on perhaps the weekly, the monthly. Absolutely getting shattered here. And yeah, not, not seeing anything in its way at the moment on the five day. Seem to have broken the critical support level on all the major time frames and essentially broke the purple 200 on the four day. The daily, of course, it's broke. Everything's pointed down. Uh, do we get a bounce first? Uh, 
is the question. Come back and retest 101.11 and then come back down. Uh, momentum is beginning to wane. So once the moving average starts to curl back over, that's when you're going to get that dollar bounce and perhaps a little bit of a, um, you know, mean reversion play when it comes to, uh, you know, risk assets. So being that the stock market is pretty green and girthy uh, and, um, you know, dollar is still pretty bearish. Well, I think the odds of Bitcoin putting out one more bounce probably uh, likely. Um, other than that, uh, that's just a hunch there. Make sure you're not taking this as financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and you always practice proper risk management and a trade strategy. Um, that is the best way to go if you ask me. So I'm gonna check in on Ethereum really quick here. Ethereum, we had the inverted head and shoulders, has not played out yet. Coming down to the green 55 for a test, which is typically your buying opportunity when BBWP is below 25. Uh, close enough is close enough in this case. And uh, as long as we don't, you know, take out the, uh, the right shoulder, here's your left shoulder, your head and a double right shoulder. And as long as we don't take out the shoulder, well then uh, that, that would be the case. So, so 1824, uh, getting back below there on the daily time frame would invalidate this. And you'd be looking for those lower targets. Let's check out tether dominance. We want tether dominance to go down, reject here and get kicked out of this trend line. Otherwise, uh, altcoins are not going to be parting to the upside like they have been. Uh, Bitcoin dominance also taking a leg down, consolidating a little bit and could come down for the test of the breakout level, which that would be more bullish for altcoins. Uh, ETH Bitcoin chart is playing out the little bounce here and uh, looks like, you know, rejection time. Not going to be alt season until ETH Bitcoin gets back above this trend line and more specifically this pivot at not point not seven zero five two. Um, so Ethereum, we did Bitcoin. We took a look at gold, NASDAQ and any other uh, blockbusters out there. Well, Am not, not, not Av AVAX, AVAX. This one, a uh, potential decent trade setup um, as it uh, did clear above this last uh, support level. And now once, you know, support becomes resistance, right? Once you break through it again, then it becomes support. So as long as we hold this level, um, I would expect a little bit more on this one. AVAX uh, probably gonna do what the rest of the other altcoins have done, um, which is head up to this green 55, somewhere around 18 cents. Um, still looking good for that play and the hidden bullish divergence still in play as well. You've got three drives and I actually do like this one for uh, a nice one, two, three drives up to the green 55 as long as Bitcoin can hold on to its bootstraps here. And uh, look at that. I'm getting sucked in for another little bit of a trade here. Um, there we go. Anyways, um, wrapping it up here, I want to check in underlying market dynamics. Okay, here's a interesting fact. So when funding rates get negative, right, you're paying to go short. I want to look at the one day, the one month, the all time. What happened? Did it just go? So it got negative the other day. That's what BNB is experiencing right now. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So BNB token is being heavily shorted perpetual futures show. Traders in perp futures market tied to BNB token are leaning bearish as embedded. The embattled cryptocurrency faces a challenging environment on multiple fronts. Data tracked by CoinGlass shows open interest and in volume weighted funding rates in perpetual futures have slipped to 0.18%, the lowest. So not 0.1% for Bitcoin. That's high. That's telling you, hey, probably uh, market top being put in. Negative not 0.1, uh, vice versa, positive when you're paying to go long at 0.1%, then hey, um, that's top being in, bottom put it, uh, is the other one. So when it's negative not 0.1, bottom's likely being put in. And um, it shows that shorts and positions that profit from price drop are dominant and are willing to pay longs to keep their bearish bets on. Funding rates are charged every eight hours and they went up all the way up to 200%. That's what I heard or to 0.2%. So going to be some kind of a short squeeze at some point there. 
And now with that said, let's take a look at BNB. And it's been in this massive range for quite some time right now. And for the range, I like to use this little tool I've got favorited here, um, which is, I don't know, I don't even know what they call it, but this is it. And uh, yeah, you know, as long as we are dragging along here, you know, pressure to the bottom side of the, you know, to the range is more likely. You've got um, vol, so we're gonna cross up today above 238.19. So we are currently in position to, that's the weekly, excuse me. Uh, daily is down, uh, playing out a nice uh, reversal off the green 55, but still kind of holding an uptrend here on the daily, got higher highs and higher lows. So as long as we don't take out the prior low, which is gonna be this guy right here, BNB has a chance, has a chance. I wonder why everybody's getting short on BNB because uh, if it does break that critical low level, well, it's uh, you know down, down to doggy town for this one. They're likely gonna defend that one uh, to the moon and back at, uh, at 25 bucks. Needless to say, um, uh, you know I, I'm not an expert on this one, but as far as I can tell on the daily bottom side of the range, mo <laughs> more likely Momentum to the downside. And as long as we stay out of the bearish control zone here, I mean, that's gonna be good as well. Crosses up today above 255. Um, that would be better for a bounce. And put on the auto, there we go. And if you are targeting a move to the upside, um, you know, somewhere in line with that purple 200, uh, 284 would be your bounce target. and. That's it. I think that's it for me today, guys. I do appreciate if you like and subscribe to the video, uh, hit the thumbs, bu thumbs up button, and uh, I hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.